Hi everyone, so I thought I'd make a video on uh, foods to avoid for weight loss. Uh, so obviously, uh, you know that I'm vegan and eat a plant-based diet. So um, yeah, so I'd say the first first type of food to avoid uh, for weight loss is uh, meat. So anything, uh, anything from an, an animal, a creature, a fish, uh, whatever. Uh, so if it's got a face, <laughs> Don't eat it or you'll get fat, um, unless you want to, you restrict and eat in small portions, but if you want to have proper sized meals, um, <laughs> restrict all kind of meat and uh, etc. So um, obviously you've got saturated fats, cholesterol, um, it doesn't digest very well for a start because our body's not designed to digest it, so then it gets clogged up in the, uh, in the digestive system etc. So at the end of the day, meat is it's just gonna gain gain your weight. So uh, a massive food to um, avoid is any kind of dairy. Um, so obviously, the whole purpose of um, milk um, is well, the milk that most people use is for a baby cow, and that milk turns uh, takes the baby cow from the size of a medium-sized dog to the size of a fucking, you know small elephant, do you know what I mean, in, uh, I don't know, the space of a year, and those sort of hormones are built for bulking, you know, it's bulking, this is why bodybuilders who want to bulk take whey protein, because they want to bulk, they want to get bigger, and unless you want to get big, like a cow, or an elephant, then don't drink milk, because at the end of the day, not only is there a lot of um, saturated fat in it and cholesterol, there's also, um, hormones, antibiotics, things like that, that are all um, cancer promoting, uh, too much protein in it as well, so it's, it, it, yeah, and, and the wrong kind of protein, so it's, it's basically bad for people who want to stay, stay slim and lean. Um, another food I would say um, for, for people to, well, not necessarily food, but a uh, product for people to avoid is alcohol, so um, alcohol is, is, is basically like refined sugar, um, it's kind of just like having a big uh, sugar hit, essentially. So it's like just drinking a bottle of Sprite. Uh, apart from that, it's actually toxic to the body. So it, it causes the body, you know, um, a lot of uh, processes like uh, having to cleanse, you know, the liver, having to cleanse it and stuff. So then, um, yeah, basically, um, whilst your your body, whilst you, whenever you have alcohol, um, it also makes you want to crave salty sweet junky foods right so then you and plus because you're sort of tipsy or whatever right you're not really you're not really too bothered about the kind of foods you're eating so you you maybe you're on a on a you know a diet normally right but then you start smashing in um you start smashing in alcohol and then it, you suddenly like wow i really i really don't care about the diet anymore you know i just want to eat nice food or tasty food or whatever so yeah you just smash in all this tasty food etc and that you know is not isn't chances are it's not going to be healthy so and another thing as well whilst your body's um processing all the alcohol um it's it's not it's not doing other things that it should be like it's not um burning carbohydrates um etc so it chances are it's just going to store everything as fat so hence why the term beer belly you know um so that's that's another one uh I'd say another sort of food slash item, uh, you know, that you consume to avoid is, um, yeah, like candy, junk food, you know. Um, so, yeah, we would say candy, essentially. Um, it's just pure sugar, um, and it's uh, pure sugar and usually added fat as well. Stuff like chocolate um, is very, 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 very high in fat, high in sugar. Um, Obviously, I'm not saying if you have one bar, you're going to get fat, whatever. But if it's if it's a regular habit, you know, what like more than one day out of six, chances are you, you, you're going to start having some sort of knock knock on effect on you um, eating eating chocolate and stuff. And plus, the combination of sugar and fat combined is probably one of the worst combinations um, because obviously the sugar spikes your insulin level, and then the fat it just allows you to become a fat storer essentially so um yeah you just gain the fat like crazy um so yeah that's that's candy uh another kind of food is uh snacks 
um, potato chips, um, savoury snacks like Doritos, potato chips, things like that. Um, I guess, uh, yeah, I would, <laughs> I'd avoid, I'd avoid them like like the plague because uh, very, very, very high in fat, cooked in oil, lathered in oil, essentially. I mean, foods like that are all about indulgence and taste, right? Um, the makers don't give a shit about the fact that it's going to make people fat. You know, it's food for parties, it's food for people who really just in a sort of state where they really just don't give a fuck about the health. Like, I remember since I've been like eating healthy, like, I can't, I can't even eat them now. It's just too, never mind sitting and doing a mukbang video on potato chips. Like, I can't even sit down and eat them do you know what I mean they, dis they disgust me they're too oily they make my mouth oily they make my face oily I break out in um, like oily uh, like residue like oof you know it's horrible um, so yeah it's, it's crazy just just don't <laughs> don't even eat them uh, another thing to avoid is uh, refined uh, products so anything that you can accidentally eat too much of because when we eat our body is um, looking for fiber and it won't normally um, turn you know the hunger sensors off usually until you've had enough fiber uh, for that meal and if you're eating white rice if you're eating sugar if you're eating um even pasta you know um i only have i only have pasta very rarely and uh when i do i have it with a shit ton of beans a shit ton of vegetables so i'm still meeting my fiber requirements uh, but if you're just gonna have white rice soy sauce <laughs> you can you can eat far too much of it um, that your body's not going to even know and because it's so so refined that your body's um, not going to be able to handle it very well so you're going to have a big insulin spike so um, I'd say anything refined uh, keep to a very minimum at least or if you do have it try and combine it with uh, whole foods like beans and vegetables and then it can at least curb the insulin spike but I would definitely say to avoid them as much as you can so certainly don't be smashing jam sandwiches down or um, you know on a regular basis you know if you're looking for weight loss so I would say on a whole these are the well, let's say six cat foods or food groups to avoid for weight loss let me know what you think in the uh, comments below i mentioned sugar again oh daddy's gonna be mad um okay see you in the next video everyone